Half Pint Pygmy is an interesting cartoon, largely for unfortunate reasons. The history surrounding this is more interesting than the cartoon itself. And on the one hand, it seems very disrespectful. But at the other, it is Georgian Jr., who all of the bad things happen to. So I will discuss what I mean by that. So there will be spoilers as I discuss this in more detail. This was released in 1948. It's an MGM cartoon directed by Tex Avery and written by Heck Allen. And we have a voice cast including Tex Avery, Roy Glenn and Pat McGeehan. Now, when I saw the title, my instant thought was, okay, it's a film about pygmy goats. No, it really isn't. George and Junior see a newspaper ad for a cash prize to hunt the world's smallest pygmy. And this is talking about pygmy people. And honestly, once I read that, I thought, hang on, so we're actually hunting people. Even for the 1940s with MGM, that seems unbelievable for a cartoon concept. So I was slightly concerned. And then we get the character of this half-pint pygmy, as the title suggests. And the character itself is, as I said, there will be spoilers as I discuss this, but the character itself actually comes across as a very strong, intelligent character. And maybe that's why they thought it was okay. Because all of the bad things tend to happen to George and Junior. The pygmy character in this seems to get the better of them at every occasion. So maybe they thought, well, actually, we're depicting this pygmy character in a positive way. We're making them seem intelligent and strong and smart and all of these positive qualities. And and yes, that certainly comes across. But you're still writing a film and animating a film about characters trying to hunt down this individual. And you can't overlook that. It's just not possible to overlook that. And it's 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 really awkward. What's also really interesting is that I was reading about it on IMDb and obviously it's been banned at various points, but it still does exist and I think that's important. I don't think we can erase history. I don't think we should. I think these kinds of cartoons definitely stand in as example of how not to do things and how far we've come as societies. I We still have a lot of way to go, but certainly I don't think anybody would ever try and make this animation now. I'd like to think people wouldn't even want to make this kind of thing now, but as a product of its time, it's certainly very fascinating. But as I said, still quite shocking. I was still surprised that they even thought that this would be okay in the 40s. I know that was a long time ago, but I still found that to be rather surprising. And as I said, I think maybe they thought, okay, we can get away with it because the character of this pygmy is is coming across as a very positive character. But again, you're still trying to hunt this person and that's never, never okay. In terms of the animation quality, it's absolutely fine. We have some really great backdrops. We have an elephant that's beautifully animated. And in terms of the comedy, if it was... I mean, I, I don't like hunting in general, but let's say George and Junior were trying to hunt uh, a wild animal of some kind, and then we saw the things happening to them. Mostly it's physical comedy with those characters. It wouldn't be too bad. I still wouldn't love it, but certainly it would be acceptable or more acceptable, I guess. But obviously it's a very unexpected narrative. As I said, in my naivety, absolutely not expecting it to be about hunting down a pygmy person, I genuinely read pygmy and thought goat. I guess that's how much I wasn't expecting it to take this direction. So there are some positive things by which I mean the animation quality isn't too bad and some of the physical comedy against George and Junior does work quite well. But at the end of the day, it's a cartoon about George and Junior trying to hunt down a person for a cash prize and that's never going to work. For analytical purposes, it's quite interesting, but in terms of entertainment, Half Pint Pick Me just doesn't work now. I'm surprised it worked even in the 40s. It's definitely a surprise and not really in a good way.